Apparently people weren't kidding when they said they were going to raid Area 51. I don't know if anyone found any aliens, but I know one thing, if you're looking for aliens, you can find them right here. Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome mad creators to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. Emphasis on the aliens. It's all about aliens right now because this is Take Me to Your Leader Tuesday. And with that, there having been just a raid on Area 51, it's got me a little concerned. Is there, are people ever gonna try to raid the underground lair? Because I got a lot of stuff to hide down here. <laughs> Not the least of which are the aliens that my friend Marshall Lee and I have been creating for Take Me To Your Leader Tuesday. This is the challenge where every Tuesday you create an alien, or it doesn't have to be every Tuesday, but on a Tuesday, just create an alien and then put it out there on social media. It's very simple. It's probably one of the easiest challenges there is to do. Uh, if you like drawing aliens, uh, this is the one for you. And just pick a Tuesday or you can do every Tuesday like uh, Marshall and I are doing. So uh, so yeah, we've got, uh, this is the alien that I'm gonna be working on today. So why don't we get to this? Another Tuesday, another alien. So yeah, I'm right back at it. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to, as usual, I'm trying to do something different with each alien um, and trying being the key, <laughs> the key word. But this one I think is a little different than what I've done before. I wanted, this time I wanted to do more, last time the creature I did was sort of this slimy ball with just teeth and tentacles and stuff like that. Um, so now I'm back to more, you know, human-esque creatures. Uh, this time I want to do more like a, a, a creature with, you know, kind of a furry. Basically my, my idea is to kind of redesign Chewbacca uh, as if he was more at home on like the Hoth ice planet. Now this is not a Star Wars fan art, um, but you know, it's kind of in that vein. So, you know, I was trying to think, well, what, what, is, what is Chewbacca, what's kind of, what kind of makes Chewbacca Chewbacca other than he's a big kind of hulking furry type guy. Uh, this guy's a little broader than Chewbacca. Chewbacca's kind of more tall, like slender and everything. So this guy's a little bulkier, almost like uh, if you cross Chewbacca with like the Abominable Snowman. Um, and, uh, you know, Chewbacca's got sort of the bandolier and everything. So this guy created something a little different, like a backpack, and he's got some kind of... I don't know gadget or something on his back that he's kind of carrying around like almost like it looks like he might be it might be sort of a communications type thing um, I remember when I was growing up the little there was a little army guy and he was a communications officer and he had like the because the, back then I mean they didn't have like cell phones obviously so if you needed to talk to somebody uh, you had to have this big giant backpack so something along those lines and of course he's got the the not not a bowcaster like Chewbacca but sort of a big high powered rifle and everything but like I said I wanted to make him seem like he was more at home at a, at a uh, cooler like a snowy climate so um, anyway and we'll, we'll, once we I think once we get into coloring he's gonna look a lot different than, than Chewbacca and everything but anyway so so that's kind of the look that I was going for and it's always good to sort of you know it, it if you can come up with a completely original idea, that's good. But sometimes it it makes sense to just give your own spin on something, um, and you know, create something new. And speaking of something new, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Was um, sort of especially because I, I think a lot, you know, most of the audience here are into comics and creating comics, um, and. I think it's really important that we keep this comic thing going uh, because I think a lot of people are are just they're when they go about creating comics they're not really thinking of you know making stuff for future generations it's like you know it's and there's a place for every kind of comic don't get me wrong but I think I think we still need to create comics and do things to bring young kids into in, into this world of, you know, reading comics and collecting comics and everything. And I saw that sort of firsthand uh, this weekend. If you saw the, the video I put out yesterday, uh, where it was the Batman Day video, I talked a lot about how there was a lot of kids there going to draw, and that sort of just kind of warmed the cockles of my heart because it was, it, you know, typically when you, when you think of going into stores, you're thinking, you know, comic book stores anyway. Um, or traditional comic book stores, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of older you know 
older folks, you know, my age, and um, and you don't see as many kids in there. But I think really we need to we need to do whatever we can to bring younger kids into uh, you know into comics as you know as a medium. Um, and it did make me feel good because there are a lot of a lot of young kids out there drawing. But but you know there's there's a lot of things that we can do. And I think one of the things and the fact that this was a comic store was great. But I think we need to we need to do things to get comics out to younger readers. One of the major problems is young kids cannot afford comics. When I was a kid, I could I could afford to buy a bunch of comics because you know they were you know. The average cost of a comic was around 75 cents. Now, this was back in the 80s, but still, with inflation and everything, it would not add up to the four or five dollars that we're spending per comics today. Just that's not, it would be around probably a buck fifty, maybe two bucks at the most. And, you know, and I've talked at length about Alterna Comics, but that's one of the things they're doing where they're offering more inexpensive comics for, you know, for that are more in line with younger kids something that they can actually afford to collect um, so that's something that they're doing the other thing that they're doing is they're getting comics out to um, you know they're trying to get comics out in pl other places they're they just ran this whole campaign about it's it's basically called alternaween where they're they ran a Kickstarter where you can get just a bunch of comics that you can give out as trick-or-treats that's one awesome way to get you know, kids into collecting comics. The other is get them in places other than comic book stores because not a lot of kids even know unless they're introduced usually by their parents or whatever uh, about comic stores. But if they can get them in places like a Walmart or a Dollar Tree or, uh, you know, places like that, and that's something that Alterna is trying to do. And, you know, I hate to, well, I don't hate to, but, you know, I keep talking about Alterna. Um, only because I wish more companies were doing that. And this is these, this is kind of forward thinking that I think we need, and I just more, wish more companies were out there doing that. There are all ages comics out there. You know, most of the major companies put them out and everything. And you know, obviously, we do. You know, kids are getting into comics through things like Scholastic, um, through like the book clubs at school and everything. Um, but, you know, and it doesn't have to, kids don't have to be into superhero comics, and a lot of kids aren't. A lot of kids are into, like, manga or, like, sort of the slice of life type, you know, stuff that, that, that caters a little more towards teens and things. Things like, you know, Raina Telgemeier's, uh, you know, Smile, Amulet, uh, you know, the, and these titles are great, but they're not necessarily getting kids into comic book stores. It's almost like a whole separate thing. and. Uh, I, I just think some of the big publishers that rely so much on comic book stores, you need to start thinking of ways to get younger readers in there. Because I don't want to see comic book stores go away, but if you just only cater to older crowd, that's what's going to happen. All right, so another Take Me To Your Looter Tuesday has completed. This is what I did for this week, and I'm pretty happy with the way this guy turned out. But I want to know about you guys. What are you, what have you guys been doing for Take Me To Your Leader Tuesday? If I haven't seen it or I haven't commented on it, just, you know, just hit me up and say, hey, have you seen this thing I did? Sometimes things fall through the cracks, but I just, I am looking out for anyone that has used the hashtag Take Me To Your Leader Tuesday or the initials. Uh, and if you've done a video, I'm trying to collect all those videos and post them in, or actually place them into the playlist that I got going on my channel. I think Marshall may have a playlist too, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, and, and by the way, definitely check out Marshall's channel. Uh, he's doing some awesome stuff, and this is just a really fun challenge. So, uh, yeah, participate or just watch along, but uh, try to check out some of the other people that are doing it. Maybe hit up that playlist on my channel. Just go to the playlist and find the Take Me To Your Leader Tuesday playlist and just kind of have a gander at some of, the, some of the awesome alien creations that people are making. And with that, uh, I will see you guys next week. Well, I'll see you before then, but as far as you're only watching Take Me To Your Leader Tuesday, then I'll see you next Tuesday, and that is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at CircWorks on social media, and now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. Do you like making comics? Then go to CircWorks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.